What's up guys, Barry Game here back with some more AFK Journey and today we have a little bit of an interesting topic thanks to Avatar over on the Discord and part of Analytica. I think, um, I actually don't remember who the person in Analytica that did a lot of this information and compiling but we all know it feels bad that we always go to pity on these summons. You literally saw that earlier today for us building Sinbad to Supreme Plus. We only hit like one copy early and the rest were all pity. Well, somebody has really done a deep dive now into this topic here, and it gets a little crazy how much information they have. They even posted it on the AFK Journey Discord, but it says, another day, another fool comes to the game asking about odds, ends, and tidbits on how to get your best pulls. Here's my guide to the overall simpletons. That's, that's me right here. Uh, for free-to-play and dolphins. I'm no mathematician. This is a simple guide for simple folks. So... This is pretty much straightforward, and this is really good information to follow here. TLDR, if you don't want to watch the rest of this video and you want to just understand a little bit better, number one, never do raid up invites unless you already have your full entire team to Mythic Plus. Unlocking your exclusive on so many heroes in this game is so important for the variety of different game modes and getting those heroes, those meta heroes that we're saying built up so after you get that team that's when going for raid up does become pretty good you only use diamonds on normal invites aka the all recruitment invites well, again when you get your main squad to mythic plus if you can afford some spend some real cash in the game you should focus on epic invites as they are the best bang for your buck money wise stay far away from scam gazers trust me it's not worth it uh and then yeah <laughs> this is literally the next thing avoid spending on scammies if you ever hear someone say scammies or scammers they're talking about those stellar crystals for stargazing for the average player they are horrible save them up see what you can build it's all fun and do not waste any resources to buy any type of soul stone the rng is not on your side and it is definitely not going to help you out so yeah, there's different types of gambling in this. Number one is the raid up. Number two is the all recruitment, epic recruitment, and stargazing. And then he also puts soul stones on here, which, you know, you do get them most of the time completely free, but you shouldn't like strive to really go for them. I want to scroll down a little bit here because he goes through and like understanding the different gambling, all that. You guys understand that going for the raid up 300 diamonds per invite. There's no discounts. 3% hero to pull the rate up hero that is inclusive of the pity and 10% to pull an A level. This is very important for beginners. Uh, this comes from your wish list. So you have to set up your wish list to pull the correct heroes on the rate up banner. There is some analysis to break down here though, because it's a little interesting. If you use a single rate up, your odds of getting the rate up hero is only 0.5% excluding the 40th copy so in game you might see like for sinbad right now it says a three percent rate that includes the 40th pity summon so on any one invite letter that you're summoning in reality that hero only has a 0.5 percent chance to be summoned not the three percent it advertised in game the one in game just assumes that the 40th is the guaranteed and it does the math that way and that's, I think, what most people have the biggest complaint about. The more important point is the probability of getting A-level heroes on the rate of recruitment is significantly lower. This is what I talk about all the time. It's only a 10% chance to get a hero versus 25% on the uh, the normal banner. So, yeah, it's something really interesting to take account for. There's a lot of information here. And, again, I'm going to put a link directly to this entire thread in the description down below and maybe even in the first comment too uh but there's a lot of data here if you guys are actually interested in seeing it uh but there's been a lot of information here and you can even say here uh hi they have no influence on each other the probability of getting up hero each time you draw is three percent drawing cards 40 times is guaranteed that shouldn't be correct and that's where it's like there's a lot of bad information going around here so again there's a lot of things here you guys can take into account here they do go over the all hero recruitment too again it's 300 per single you should never do single uh not rate right up single uh all hero recruitment with diamonds you can do them for letters that's fine in reality it's 270 diamonds per invite because you get to do through uh 10 of them for a discount instead of 300 270 and again you can see right here the odds of the pull rate uh show a little differently here so you can see it's 2.05 22.5 that is really important and again this includes the pity so once again this is probably even lower than 0.5 percent that you see on the rate up which is interesting 
again, the big part why we always say go for your all hero recruitment is this comparison right here. Perfect way to see it. Absolutely amazing. You only use your diamonds on normal invites to fully, fully build up heroes to mythic plus that is super important. Now, Epic recruitment cost wise, if you're spending money is probably the cheapest bang for your buck, 15 bucks for 70 Epic invites. Uh, that's 21 cents per invite. This is usually if you are going to be a dolphin, a mid spender, low spender, going for any pop-up that gives epic invites is going to get you the best progress on your account. Stay away from raid ups, stay away from regular, stay far away from the scam gazer. If you can see the odds of pulling heroes are so much better for the uh for the S levels. A level is a little bit worse, but again, you get a much more focused build for this. So it's really, really good. And you can see a perfect comparison, 10, 22, 18.75. But again, the smaller pool in Epic Recruitment and the fact that you only have to go to 30 instead of 60 is really, really big. There's a lot of information here again that I'm gonna be glazing over. I'm just trying to get to the main parts here. Stargaze Station, AKA Scammy or Scammies. They're also called Scam Gazer, Stellar Crystals or Stellar Orbs. Cost wise, you can't buy these with diamonds and you're basically getting one summon per $1.30 versus the epic ones you're getting one per 21 cents. This is $1.30 and this is why it's crazy. $2,500 packs are 38 dragon crystals a piece. They are pricey. The odds are so weird too. Like the amount of times I've hit these diamonds way more than the actual hero copy makes no sense. And it does make sense now because this 3.25% is including the pity. If it didn't have a pity, this would probably be down lower with all these other things, which is just absolutely crazy. And again, for free to play in dolphins, you never spend real money on these. This is a pure whale territory. You never go for them. It's absolutely a bad value. Just don't, don't do it. This one is like, okay. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, he does go into soul stones and things like that too, but he also posted a couple things just recently here today that are like really good. He actually posted this over on Reddit as well. So maybe I'll link to the Reddit post. That one might be a little bit better. Uh, but you see here, the conclusion can be drawn following the rate up. for rate up invites. You can beat the pity uh, after doing 200 pulls, 100 per analytical is what they say in normal invites. You will beat the pity after doing 260 epic after doing 50, which is just amazing that you beat pity after only 50. And then stargazes, you'll beat it after 130. So it's absolutely crazy the way it goes. Uh, disclose rate to obtain hero number of invites required for each pity in different batch pulls. You can see a lot of data was put into this too. Uh, and you can see the difference here. So you can see the base rates here. Surprisingly, Stargaze is still 1.4, but it's definitely not that 3% they advertise. And you can see why the epic recruitments are so, so good. Because even with pity, you hit it early, you hit the pity, and then you get early lucky ones so much better you see the pity rate is like yeah it's just average number of pulls 19 average number of pulls to hit a copy is 33 so this is a typical 40 pity this is a typical 60 and it needs 48 this is a typical 40 needs 30 this is a typical 30 needs only 19 see why people say you go for the epic invites at all the time there's even another info here new banner advertised rate the actual rate is 9.0 or 9.935 uh so you can see the different rates here that's actually higher than i thought it was going to be for the stargazing i thought it was going to be under like close to 0.5 percent but it's pretty good and yeah you can see this right here epic hero banner is the way to go so let me know what you guys think again i'll probably just link you to this right here the actual reddit post because it's a lot easier to take this information in granted it doesn't have everything that this thread has so i might still send you guys over to discord let me know what you guys think i want to make sure you guys understood a little bit better about the summoning and huge shout out to avatar and the analytical team for really deep diving on this because this is something i could have never done myself and takes a whole community and people that are really dedicated to figuring this stuff out to get it done so hope that you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time